Hey and welcome back to another video. Today I've been filming here in my home with Mike. We've done one video for the Drive Tribe YouTube channel. It's live now if you want to go check it out. It's a weird explainer video about something called Graham. I won't tell you more than that because I think it's something you definitely need to see with your own eyes. Next I need to take down all of this setup and then we're going to go out and try and get some cool shots of Mike's new long term which is a Ford Focus ST. It's kind of sunny at the moment so hopefully that weather holds out but if not I'm sure we can still get some cool shots. And there it is, Mike's new long termer. What do we think of it? Ford Focus ST, I think it's 2021. It's not quite as intense as the RS, that's for sure. Ready to go? Yep. So I think the aim for today is to try and get some cool B-roll and maybe some up and by shots of the car, like that Mike can use them in future vlogs throughout the year. Any particular locations you'd like to go to, Mike? Um. I do like the road that we droned on one day. In and around Goodwood would be good. The, the walls around there are quite nice. And then anywhere where we can properly drive it, it's a hot hatch, so some fast photography. Lovely, let's go. We're approaching the first location that we're stopping at to do ups and buys. I'm gonna jump out of the car and Mike's gonna come past me a few times and hopefully we get some cool shots. Excited, Mike? Do you like this location? I do. Um, and I've never been in this location in a car like this. It's either been an EV or a classic car of Jaguar E type. So, yeah, I'm pumped. Love it. See you in a bit. Let me just show you this road. It's such a lovely road through all the trees. It just looks great. The car doesn't look too bad either. trying to find somewhere that's kind of safe to stand on the side of the road while Mike turns around and drives the car and has fun. I think this side's probably nicer. There's a bit of light here actually coming through the trees. I reckon here's nice. Is that him coming? Yes it is. I'm gonna stand a bit to the side so I'm safe. Brambles, not fun. I think he's coming, I'm trying to get him going through these trees. Fence kind of ruins that one, but tree bit looks nice. Okay, I think that's enough for this location. I'm going to wave him in. We were going to start it up here, but it was really windy, so the audio wasn't great, so we did a second version That's at a right. different starting point. The intro that never made it. Yeah. But it is nice up here. Yeah. And it's usually very busy, so I wonder if we'll be able to get a parking spot. It's a very clear day, which makes me think it's going to be even busier than usual. And it's half term when we're filming this. So not too busy at all. Should we go for an angle? Or? Yeah. I think a slight angle. Okay, we're at the location. We've done some static photography. We're now going to do a bit of B-roll. But do you see what I mean when I said that this was a pretty epic location? You can not quite pick it up on the camera, but you can see all the way to the Isle of Wight. Pretty cool. We've done this angle here, so now Mike's going to point the car in the other direction so that the sun is pointing on that front bit of the car. Okay, on to the next location, which I believe is where we filmed my folly vlog. Where I filmed my folly vlog even, because you were not there. 
Oh, the, that's what I call the droning road. Yeah, yep. we should have some lovely lighting there. Which direction out of you? Left and right. Down the hill. Down the hill. We are at our next location, which is near the Folly from one of my vlogs from last year. It's quite a nice empty road for up and bys and made for some stills as well. Got a pretty dramatic sky going on, which is quite nice. Got light rays and everything. Love that. What's annoying about this road though is that the places you can turn around are quite limited, so Mike needs to go miles away before then turning around, which is slightly annoying, but not the end of the world. This is usually quite a good place to film with my drone because it's really open. There's no other roads that close to this road and that little copse in the field looks quite cool from a top-down view from the drone. Then of course you have the folly which is always nice to see. Okay, I think I can hear Mike coming. We've wrapped up at our third location. To sum up what we've done so far today, we went to a nice road near the Goodwood Racecourse where we did some ups and buys. We then went to Trundle Hill, also near Goodwood, to do beauty shots and to do a little bit of B-roll. We then came here, which is called Racton, to do a few more ups and buys with a slightly different looking background. Up near Goodwood is very sort of forest heavy and here it's quite open, so it's nice to have two different types of drive-bys. Next, we're going to Bosom, where we're hoping to have quite a nice picturesque sunset with the water in the background, so. Ready? We are at our next location, but annoyingly I didn't think about the tides and it is completely low tide. So fairly pretty though, I guess, right? Get the nice little church over there. Yeah. There we go. You got Bosom Church in the background. It'll look much nicer at high tide, obviously, but. Burgers can't be choosers. What are you doing? I'm saying I've time lapse, but I forgot my tripod, so I can't get the church in. So it's just going to be like stones. Focus ST. This guy. There's his little phone on his little rock with his little right chew case. Are you getting that? Yep. Nice. And there's the car. And there's the lovely little village of Bosom. I'm assuming it was a trading place because it's near the water. There's a quite significant person buried in the church. I think it's the daughter of King Someone Important. You've got this, you told me last time. I can't remember who is it. King, is it not King Canute? King Canute, yeah, it's King Canute's daughter. Is what, what did King Canute do? I don't know, something to do with Scotland? He was the lad that thought he could stop the waves. He like went up to the water and he thought he was like a divine king and thought he like went up to the waves of the sea and was like, I'm gonna get them to stop. And then he got soaked and people were like, oh, oh. he's not actually sacred. Great, thank you for educating me. I think the best angle of the ST it's probably quite low. I think it looks quite Mustangy from about here. The grill's obviously different, but I feel like shape-wise, this looks a bit Mustangy. Shame about the tide not being high, but can't really complain about that sunset. It's pretty nice. We've just wrapped up at our final location of the day. The sun is setting just over there. The car is looking quite lovely. I think Mike's doing a time lapse to finish off his video. Overall, I think we've had a pretty productive day. We've got a whole drive drive video and quite a lot of content about the focus that Mike can use throughout the year. So pretty good day. I hope you enjoyed coming behind the scenes with me. If you did, feel free to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.